Hello and welcome to this original note by note 12 bars Johnny Johnson blues piano transcription. While I was doing these 12 bars, I thought, oh, what the heck? I transcribed the whole thing and I will sell it to you as a MIDI file or a sheet music. I'm actually the first one. I had a look around. There is no other. So more information if you're interested in that after the lesson, which I will do in detail and slow for you. Let's get working. The whole thing will sound like this. We will start right from the beginning with this thing. What is it? Ingredients are D. It's a D7 um, plus chord, I think it's called augmented. I'll tell you why in a second. So put the C in the mixer, put the F sharp in the mixer, put the A sharp or B flat in the mixer, put the D in the mixer, and mix. How will you mix? You will mix this hand like this and you will mix this hand with the thumb and the, those two notes like this. He doesn't do anything else. So it's like just keep your hands loose and wrists, no heavy work before so that you are supple. Then we go on. I try to make it as understandable as possible for you, my lovely students. We have, we need these notes here. And then we need one swipe. Going from, I repeat that, don't worry. From B flat, G, E and D. So let's go here again. We are in G and we are in, still in, in D and then it's the upbeat without the left hand. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. One more time, then we have to move on. We have to manage a lot. Okay. We did the shaky shaky thing. And one and two and three and four and four. Thumb. Important because we have to go here. One and two and three. Now, first, uh, um, a little uh, comment on the left hand. He's playing even a simpler left hand than this one. I just can't play what he plays because my he plays. You see? And I'm so used to playing this also that it's really hard to play his even simpler left hand. So if you want his left hand, you play. It's just these ones are on the one and the two and the three and the four and these just do. Okie dokie. So we have the upbeat. We are now on G7, the beginning. One and two and three and four and one and two and three, four. And one and two and three. Again. Bar number two. The first G bar is empty. One and two and three and four. Sixteenth notes, I know you love them. Three to and to four and one and he plays an octave, sorry. Yes, he plays an octave. 
again. Second bar G. One and two and three to and to four. And one and two and three and four and one. So where to put the left hand when you do this? put it like uh, the, the dotted note in the left hand on the last of those four sixteenths. Here. Important here, you cannot manage if you don't use, use it. Just look at my sim finger setting, then I don't have to lose uh, my saliva on that too, because if you just watch, we save time. Like here, only manage if you use the third finger here for the slide. Now, here, what we have here uh, that is actually quite simple, and it sounds very sophisticated and great, it's behind these notes, look at them, look at them, look at them again visualize what kind of structure it is i always sometimes um, i uh, use the metaphor of the mountains you can uh, you can have you have a little mountain um, uh, streak here like and it goes down the valley and up so it's good to visualize a chord to remember it it's good to know it also theoretically which we will do now but also visualize the image of the chord we have a visual instrument. We can see all single notes here. Now, behind it is the A7-9. We have the 9 here, the A-flat, sorry. So, it's the 7 of the A-flat, the 9, and the major 3rd, and the 5. We just don't play the root here, because it goes so fast, we do it. And we're landing on the same structure of G. 7, 9, Three, five, seven, nine, three, five. The nine is interchangeable with the two. Don't worry, I use the term nine. Some do two, some say both. We don't care. So it's the A7, nine, and moving chromatically down. Um, again, four sixteenths notes on the four of the last G bar. So we were here. You can put it all into context by going back to when I play the whole thing. Three and four and one and two and three and four one and two and three. Now what is that? One and two. G bar, it's a just it's a regular 12 bar blues. We have those notes starting from the D. Going with the second here, you see it down, and then we grab this is C now. The voicing is just the nine and the minor seven of the C bar, and we move that one down one and now, we are in C, first bar of C, then this one, still in C. And what do we have here? You know it already, you know it, you just don't know that you know it. Because you remember the G voicing and with the A flat 7-9. It was the seven nine three five. Now it's again the seven nine three five of C. That's why I always say, do it visually, but also learn the structure of the voicings. Now you have learned the structures seven three, uh, seven nine three five three times. So if you learned it the first time, now you would know it by heart. 
it's C. And since it's using that a lot, it's worthwhile just checking this chord out. 7, 9, 3, 5. And do it also in other chords that you play. And F, like B, like D. Okay. Again. Last C bar, uh, last G bar, first C bar. One and two and three and four. S again. Here, you put the last sixteenth together with the dotted note in the left hand. And now, one. coming to a hoo, 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 to quite something because we do have two sixteen syncopations it sounds more dramatic I love to be dramatic but we will manage together one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and you heard already the sound coming at the end of this one again Repeating, we love that. Now, it's one and one and two and let's have this one again. One and two and this is just there and on C be resolved into C. Then we have this rough again going from B flat again we have this you know where we had it? Right in the very beginning we had just the same This bar again. One and two and three and four. Now you have to do this with this hand like down and then this is the four. So it needs a little bit of skill for you. To report that um, Johnny Johnson, the master, is also when he changes chords, he's not going like when, we, when he goes to, from C to G. He does not play the last one very often. He makes a little break. And we love that because he's a, just a human being too, you know, to go to C to G. So he's not playing the whole figure to the end. Because that's a, that's a, that's a mean jump. So he yeah, does that. And Dr. John does it too. They leave out the last note of the bus figure to be there in time. I have my own trick. I do jumping off now. But he does it really like a nursery school. Okay, again, one and two and three and and all these come on the end and 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 Christian the singing goat from Germany. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and just the same as in bar number. Three, just the same. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Yes, we have 
this now in the um, just before we go to D we have last part G one and two and three and four three and four and three and four almost forgot in the left hand we do the left hand first before he goes to D the last fourth he's doing he's using the this one here before going to D chromatically. So he's he's um, inter, inter, inter something, interputting. <laughs> now he's like in, intersecting a brief E flat fifth before then going to G. He does that all the time, also in this boogie, like one and Last G bar. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and three and four and and we're landing on G. Christian one and two and three and four and one two and let's have a look at this one. Yeah. Now he uses the octave down also like it's we are now on the first bar of the dominant on D7. Triplets on the one, two, and three, and four again. Again. Here. One more time. Second D bar again, upbeat. And one and two and three and four. Check it. It's the G. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Same. Last D bar again. Now it's pretty hard. One and two and and one and two and three. time then it's up to you to rewind
and four and arriving at G. Yes, it's G. Don't worry, it's G. It's just an inversion. Fire. Okay, the last one more because I'm such a nice person. And one and two and three and, and, and four and one and two and three and four and one. So what are these chords? One and two. I have no clue what that is. It's a transition chord. Bad bass, of course. This is what is in every um, piano box for for um, three year olds. This run up. One, 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 and two, and now we have the C. Now we have the C sharp diminished. Don't worry, it's just a word. And you're arriving at G, and then his thing. Okay, I hope you manage to do this and start slow. And I will give you now also little suggestions how to um, simplify the really tough bits. Because you might be able to play the rest except of those small parts um, that demand of uh, too much of you. And we start with the upbeat. We have this um, uh, shaky, shaky, and so these, these fast things with many notes in it. Okay, upbeat. Instead of three notes, you play uh, four notes. You play one and two and three and a four. And a four, you play not four notes, but you play, you leave out the G. It's almost as nice. We go on. Um, we are in uh, G bar number two, where it goes. And we do. Now, uh, how, how did I see that? Yeah. You do, instead of yeah, this is pretty hard. You do. You do um, put four into three. Instead of you play one two two one two two. You know? It's also very nice. He also plays it in other boogies, so it's not really like for amateurs or so, it's just for this case um, easier to play. One slide. And this you can play, and now comes a really heavy, heavy thing like it's double heavy because we have to do. The second finger does the E and the E flat and the E, and that's that's a, that I find hard to play fast and uh, make these notes as a slide. But that's tough stuff. Now you can also um, put these into three instead of you play uh, one. Again, we we take these two notes in one, and so we have instead of four notes, we do much easier. Four, one and two and three and four, one and two and three. So this is what I can do for you, and uh, I hope very much. You take something away from this lesson and um, wish you good luck with it. My Johnny Johnsons from all around the world. Bye bye from Berlin. 
particular info on the MIDI file. It has become a really excellent MIDI file. In some part of the song, you have to know what the right hand is playing and the left hand. So I split them and you, so you can, on your MIDI player, even give the left and the right hand different colors. That's just such a luxury. Also, of course, it sounds a bit more, um, let's say, mechanical because I moved all the nodes in the right spots and I moved them into a bar structure. So you can practice that with the metronome, which you cannot with the original. So it's all just in place. It's note by note, exactly the same. And also I had a look around for the first time what others charge for this kind of transcription. Boy, am I cheap. Honestly, honestly, mm -hmm. exploit me. You're also supporting the channel, so even if you don't know it, even if you cannot play piano, buy it. It's good for the channel. Thanks and take care. All the best from Berlin. I hope you liked my video and that you learned something. And now you can subscribe. Just press this subscribe button or click on another of my videos on this side. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.